Welcome back to the Crash Test Mummy series. Today we are talking teeth whitening. So this is the Nano Intensive Whitening Kit. Um, it says it's a dual whitening system, up to seven shades whiter in five days, and that is what we are gonna be testing out. Because I've never had the whitest teeth. I've tried white strips in the past and stuff, but I've never really stuck with them. And my teeth can be quite sensitive, so I'm a bit scared of doing the whole professional whitening in case it's too much for my teeth. Um, so, I'm gonna give this a go. I actually have a couple of these sets from different places. So if this one doesn't work, or even if it does, I'll be back with another one. Um, but I wanna try this one first of all, cause it's the most outrageous looking one when I opened the packet. I actually went to do this um, a couple of weeks ago and realized how intensive it was and that I would have to do a video cause it's just too crazy. There's like syringes of things, there's whitening strips, there's these things that you have to actually mold do you remember like mouth guards? Anybody have mouth guards at school? Like that situation, mold them to your teeth. It's absolute madness. So I'm going to take you on the journey with me. I'm not gonna be using this till this evening, but I kind of wanted to do the little intro in decent light because who knows what it's gonna look like by the time I actually sit down to do this when I've got a bit of peace. Um, I have a lot of editing to do this evening, so probably will be absolutely fine. I can sit by myself in silence and edit with this crazy mouth situation going on. Um, but there's gonna be like a whole thing with the steps. So there's, but there's gonna be a whole thing with the steps. So first of all, brush your teeth for two minutes. Um, it says, ideally using our toothbrush, but you know, just brush your teeth for two minutes. Apply upper and lower teeth whitening strips to your teeth. Remove after 60 minutes. Wear the teeth whitening gel in the mold mouth trays for 35 minutes. Do this straight after removing the whitening strips. Repeat daily until you've used all of the whitening gel and then use the remaining teeth whitening strips once a day until you finish the course. Um, okay, so that's like, it's, it's a lot. It's like quite a commitment every single day because that's like an hour and 45 minutes, or an hour and 35 minutes, not including all the time that it takes to set everything up. Uh, so I'm gonna do the whole teeth mold thing. I'm gonna show you all of that and Let's just see how this goes because I've never done an at-home whitening course that's quite like this. I just tried to take some before pictures. There's a reason I don't smile with my teeth, apart from the fact that I don't like that they're crooked. Um, the top ones aren't so bad, it's the bottom ones that are super, super crooked and they're part of the reason that I wanted to try this as well because I think when your teeth are whiter, you can't tell so much that they're so crooked. Um, but yeah, I tried to take some pictures and it was pretty hilarious. So I'm gonna mold the tray things now. It says to pour boiling water into a bowl and wait one minute so the water isn't too hot. So I've done that. Um, holding the handle, place the tray in the water for 15 seconds. It says to shake off the excess, ensure that it isn't too hot, bite into it with your upper set of teeth and suck against it with your teeth. I feel like they both needed the water to be hotter, but whatever, we're gonna just work with it. So in theory, I've just brushed my teeth, which I have, it's just I've just done this weird thing with the, the whole molding thing, but imagine I've just brushed my teeth. The next step would be the um, whitening strips. So carefully tear open the pouch to reveal both whitening strips. It's not so easy. I shouldn't have done this when I was so hungry. I'm gonna be starving for the next hour and a half. Start with the upper strip, which is the longest one. Peel away the upper strip from the plastic backing and apply the gel side, the side touching the plastic backing to the surface of your teeth. Okay, same with the bottom one. And now I've got to leave it for an hour. This is hilarious, I should do all my videos like this. Right, I've taken off the strips and the first thing is I've got a little bit there and I think, look in the mirror there, that were maybe slightly lighter and they've gone really, really white which is a concern, so we'll see what happens. Um, so with the, so it's been an hour, with the um, whitening tray thing, you get this that looks kind of glittery, which is strange. And you're supposed to squeeze the gel into the tray. I'm not sure how much, you said one line of gel, but. Oh, it's very sticky. Also, the whitening strips were like, super sticky, they're like really, really stuck to my teeth. So that's kind of how I'm gonna do it. I don't know. And then I've gotta wear these for 35 minutes. My teeth feel really, really weird now. The, um, the whole, whatever these are called, come on, trays, were 
awkward to have in my mouth more so than the, the with the gel more so than with the um strips i've also lost all my words apparently because i haven't spoken in so long my teeth feel really really strange like when i bite them together it's, it feels weird um obviously since the last clip i've googled the whole like white marks on the teeth thing apparently that's a good sign because it means that it is actually lifting and when the rest of my teeth lift it shouldn't be as noticeable but we'll see i'll check in with you on that i've got to do this every day for five days um and in theory they should be up to seven shades whiter funny story i already filmed the ending to this video um but the lighting was so horribly artificial that i didn't really like it and so i wanted to film it in regular lighting so you could actually see my teeth rather than them be kind of blinded by this crazy crazy bright light um and so i thought i'll just film a clip in the car go over my kind of feelings about the product etc um and then i'll head over to costa and edit and upload this because as we know that's now what i have to do no not so easy because it is raining and probably going to ruin the sound of this clip so either we can have better lighting or more natural lighting or we can have sound because apparently we've had our three days of summer and this is england again now we're just going to roll with it and hopefully it's not too bad apologies if it is but i'm going to be quick i will be brief i have some notes i just kind of thought about what i would be interested in if i was going to start this course of treatment or this this if i was going to buy this product um and i just wanted to run over a quick overview so number one my teeth in particular i drink a lot of fizzy drinks and so the enamel has kind of worn away in certain sections and apparently that's what that is the area that i showed you that was like super super bright white that first time i tried it um it was never as bad as it was on that one day and after brushing my teeth the next day it was like greatly reduced so that's kind of something to bear in mind however i have the whole fizzy drink thing which even if it's fizzy water that can wear away your enamel it's the bubbles apparently um and then I drink a lot of black tea and strong coffee and um, just kind of dark drinks. And so my teeth are quite stained as well. So the surface of my teeth are, it's not the most even surface to start with. And I have found that it can kind of exaggerate that a little bit. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. If your teeth are perfectly even, if even if they're a bit dull, or kind of grey or yellowy, um, you may find that your results are a little bit... I don't know a little bit more perfect than mine were because i definitely felt at least initially that i was a bit nervous of that very very bright spots appearing it wasn't a huge issue but just something to bear in mind if you've got very uneven teeth um that it could end up making them look worse um there was no sensitivity whatsoever so something that i was very nervous of because i have tried things like this in the past like the crest white strips years and years ago my teeth were very very sensitive and that stopped me from um trying out kind of professional whitening treatments in the past and actually going to my dentist and having my teeth whitened because i'm so scared of the sensitive teeth thing um and i experienced no sensitivity whatsoever now i did do five days over seven days so basically five strips and the gum shield guard thing over seven days. I don't know whether or not that contributed to the lack of sensitivity or if this is just a particularly um, sensitive product for people like me, but it was something worth mentioning because I think if it was going to cause sensitivity, I possibly would have, I would have experienced it. But you please tell me if you've tried this product, all opinions welcome. Any, if you hated it, let us know because there can never be enough reviews. Um, it was a time commitment. So um, I'm also doing the 30 day shred, which I've mentioned in other videos, but it was massive time commitment. So every single night I'm doing this 20, mi 20 minute exercise DVD, plus I'm doing the teeth whitening, which is taking an hour and a half. It was a lot, which by the way, on the packet, it says to leave the white strips on for an hour. And when I was looking up how much this cost, which by the way is 25 pounds, fairly reasonable, I think, um, I saw that it said 30 minutes. So now I'm a little bit nervous that I've been leaving it on for twice as long as I should have been. But that's just just a note on that. Um, but yeah, it was quite a time commitment because it basically is an hour and a half of your evening or your day, whenever it is that you're going to be doing it, but you can't really eat and drink, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I can't do it until the kids have gone to bed because I can't really explain to Milo. I don't want him to think that whitening your teeth is a necessary thing because it's such an unnecessary, vain pursuit to whiten your teeth. And so I don't want to have to explain to him why I can't talk to him. So I wait till he's gone to bed, put the stuff in, and then it's an hour and a half and that's usually when we'll be having dinner or i'll be you know having my cup of tea or whatever else it's a really annoying period of time to not be able to eat and drink so that's something to bear in mind as well it was an effective treatment in a short period of time 
but it was a time commitment. Someone mentioned that they thought it was very, very dangerous to do this at home. Obviously, I'm not advocating doing something that could be potentially very dangerous. Um, this is completely on you. Just like dyeing your hair, only the massive difference here is that your teeth don't grow back if something terrible happens to them. Worst case scenario, all your hair falls out, it's not the end of the world. It kind of is a small end of the world <laughs> problem if all your teeth fall out. Uh, so if you do have particularly sensitive teeth or if you're nervous about it at all, obviously speak to your dentist. Um, I, as you may know, am more of a kind of throw caution to the wind kind of person, do things and then worry about it later, which is kind of what you saw in the last clip of me being like, oh shit, I think I've made a terrible mistake when I got those weird white marks. I definitely had a moment where I thought, I don't know whether or not I'm gonna use this whole five day thing because I was scared of that. Um, but I'm kind of glad that I did because the results were, I'm not gonna say they were dramatic. I'm gonna show you some before and after pictures, but five days, you can't expect to go from, you know, relatively yellow teeth and my teeth are hilariously crooked. So yeah, I know the pictures you're gonna see, um, my teeth aren't great, but, you're not going to expect to go to kind of like an all white American smile overnight. But I do think for an at-home kit in five days, it was a, a serious result. And you get five more strips available in the kit. So at some point I may use them again. I don't want to use them all at once now because I am nervous of the sensitivity. Um, and I don't want to weaken my teeth any, any more than I need to, given that I don't need to do this in the first place. But I think for £25, if you are interested in something like this, it was very effective. It was easy to do at home. Um, and that's kind of my opinion on this but if you have tried this if you have tried anything like it i would love for you to let us know in the comments like i said the more the more things we can talk about the more conversations involved in this the better when you're talking about something that um could potentially be really really good or really really bad as many voices as possible please so if you've got any anything to add at all please let us know in the comments thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you like these random haphazard videos and rainy sound effects in my conclusive endings um but for now that is it i will link the product for you in the information but it was sent to me i don't know if i would purchase it again at this point purely because I don't know whether or not I would have purchased it in the first place. I, I didn't have the impetus to think, oh, I really, really hate how yellow my teeth are. I used it specifically to review it for you guys. However, if I was in the mood to whiten my teeth um, and I was really looking into it, I would purchase this because I did think it was effective.